Battle Nations as an idea kind of stemmed out of Trade Nations, which was our first game on the iPhone. We got a lot of feedback in the beginning from people who said, I love this game, it's a whole lot of fun, but I want to battle, I want to fight each other, let me blow stuff up. We said, that would, that would be really fun. We kind of bought into it. So we decided to really build that game from the ground up as opposed to kind of tacking it on afterwards. We wanted to make a game where battle really mattered. We're super excited about this. It's probably the most ambitious project Z2 Live has done so far. We have a process of prototyping and testing in front of players and then taking that feedback and improving the game every step of the way. We wanted to kind of marry those two philosophies of the city builder to grow up your army and then also blowing stuff up. Battle Nations is half flamethrowers and giant explosions. Uh, and the other half is strategic empire building. And the whole thing is wrapped up in this great story of empire and rebellion and ancient mysteries and evil villains. We wholeheartedly believe in creating an immersive, engaging world that players want to take a part of and also take a role in shaping and uh, molding over time. I think half the players are going to be really excited about the rich storytelling that we're doing, along with the mission system and building up their city and making it look awesome. And the other half are going to get really deep into battle and really do the, the min-maxing and trying to get the perfect army that can just obliterate everybody. Each character you meet has their own uh, character flaws and quirks, which make them interesting characters. You can go in with a sandworm that's your ally against a raider on a um, mammoth with a cannon strap to it. We tried to do this so that you felt like you were part of the story and immersed in this world and really wanted to know what happened to these people. In Battle Nations, as you build up your outpost, uh, you want to protect your industrial heart where you're building your tanks and troops and uh, it's very important to put pillboxes and walls and cannon towers around those and those perfect defenses are the strategic puzzle that your opponents need to solve to kind of steal your goods and bring your empire to its knees. So on the surface, Battle Nations is very accessible for the casual gamer. I mean, people can go in and blow stuff up pretty easily and have a great time doing it. But for the hardcore gamer, there's definitely stats to get into. This unit is good against this unit. There's this whole depth of gameplay that is accessible for people that really want it. And I'm really excited to see how many people really dig deep into that and also converting the casual gamers who wouldn't consider themselves gamers to really get into the battle and take it that step further and get committed.